Create a natural signature on the computer and insert it into your documents. This lesson and more at www.yourcheckvision.com. Okay, today I am teaching you how to do your signature. Now I have already scanned this mainly because that is fairly time consuming in the process. You want to go ahead and sign your signature using a Sharpie or a 2020 pen, uh, something that's going to give you a nice, uh, fine, clean tip of writing. And as you can see on the screen, I have signed uh, a name three different times. And I actually suggest signing it several different times and then actually look at the name to see which one is uh, the cleanest. So now I'm going to take my mouse, and it does require a mouse unless you have incredibly advanced talking software skills. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and you can do Alt-I to go to Edit Pictures or go and click on Edit Pictures. And I'm going to crop uh, this image down. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to crop and I'm going to crop the image to the signature that I want. So I'm just dragging in uh, all the sides and drag it in tight so your signature, only the signature is selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So everything else disappears and then your, uh, only your signature remains. So after you have your uh, signature up there, you're going to hit your right click on your mouse and you're going to go to Send To and you're going to go down to Microsoft Office and it's going to give you options of where what program you want it to open. You want to go ahead and click on Word and you're going to click Send and it's going to send it to Word. So now I'm going to go ahead and open it up and there is my signature, which is way too large. So now we're going to compress it. So with your mouse, you're going to left click on it and notice the the black squares at the all the way around the picture. And that basically is telling you, you will not be able to move this picture around. So I'm going to give you the ability to move it around. So right click with your mouse and you're going to go to Format Picture. Now at this point, a blind person can absolutely edit all this. I had a blind student do it the other day. Uh, the biggest part is a sighted person has to actually crop it down and then a blind person can go ahead and take over. So anytime I say hit your right click, that's your application's key. You want to go ahead and go to layout and when you choose square, tight, behind text or in front of text, it will give you the ability to move your signature around. Now we're going to choose square and we're going to choose it to the left mainly because most of our signatures that we place into documents are going to be left aligned. Uh, and this is just makes it easier for a blind person. Once they have the signature, they can go ahead and insert it into any document. If you're sighted, you can easily move it around any place you want. Now we want to go ahead and go to size as we want to reduce this uh, down to a signature size. It's at 78% right now. So if you Alt-H to jump to height or just highlight it and erase your number, we're going to go ahead and reduce it down to about 25%. Hit your tab and it will automatically change to 25%. We're going to hit enter and see if we like that. Uh, that's not too bad, so we're going to actually try that out. Let's create a new document. Let's go ahead and pretend we just wrote a letter. Equals rand left parenthesis right parenthesis hit enter as if we have pretended to write a letter. I'm going to control home hit it down, control N to get to the bottom, and then of course, sincerely yours, and hit your enter, and here, and hit your enter twice, and here's where you're going to insert your signature. So Alt-Tab, back to your signature, and of course, you're gonna save this file, so all you have to do is pull it up. Do a control A to select it all, and then you're going to do a control C to copy, and then you're going to do a control V to paste your signature in there. Hit your enter a couple more times, and, uh, and then you're going to put uh, Jane Doe. And One of my students had presenters come last week and give many presentations to the students. The students had to write letters to thank them for coming. In this way, the, my blind students can write their signature and send it off just as everybody else can, very quickly and easily. Uh, this lesson and more are at www.yourtechvision.com.